Marmelo went over to, to Melbourne last year, finished ninth. Um, how was that experience for you? Well, we had a great time. Um, I think, I think with hindsight, we probably shouldn't have gone for the Caulfield Cup, but you, you, you know, every year is different. Uh, the plan is not to go for the Caulfield Cup this year. Um, but we, you know, we were extremely well looked after. The horse was very well looked after. Werribee worked well, I think, for the horses coming from Europe. Um, and you know, the great, the whole lead up was um, very absorbing. And I think, you know, all connected. The owners, Tom Perry, looks after us. Um, my family, we all had a great time. And you say you wouldn't go for the Caulfield Cup again. Why is that? I think it's probably two quick runs on fast ground, having trapped travel so far he actually took the traveling extremely well but you know I think last year anyhow we were learned that you know his best runs were always giving him six weeks between races this year we've done it slightly differently just to try him out but I think he's an older horse a bit more a, a you know he's come a bit cuter you know I don't think he'll ever win a race easily more than a length nowadays I think Caulfield's you know it's a tight cold sharp course and firm ground too Two firm ground runs in a within the space of three weeks is what what's you know what concerns me. And you secured Hugh Bowman for the ride last year. Would you would you plan on doing so again, or getting the best available local jockey, or, or take one over from Europe? I think we obviously have to, have to see who's available. You know, Hugh, if Hugh's available, he knows the horse. That'd be great. Um, and you know, he's got quite a decent weight, so we can always take it somebody from Europe if they wanted to come. He was started favourite for the race, joint favourite for the race last year. Going into it. At this stage this year, do you feel you've got a better chance in some way, a better performing horse? You know the the setup out there more so now, second time around. I think well, but I think I'm realistic. You know, I, I'm aware it's a handicap. I think he's probably handicapped up to his best, so that's always going to be tricky. Um, I, undoubtedly, last year we were it, it, relative to the first two. Anyhow, we weren't well handicapped. They on their best form. They're both Group One performers, uh, rekindling. In, you know, probably could have gone very close, you know, it could have gone even closer in what was probably turned out the best classic of the year, the St. Ledger, was very well in. And Johannes Vermeer won a Group 1 uh, in the autumn of his two-year-old career. So it, you, you would, I'm realistic to think that, you know, fourth or fifth could be a very good result based on his rating. And his performance the other day on, on Sunday, a career best last time out. I, uh, possibly, possibly not. Yeah. I, it was a slow run race, probably didn't suit him. He's broken two track records over a mile and six at Shanty in York. So I think he could probably do with a better gallop. But, you know, he still showed he's got enough speed to, you know, to hold them off. Uh, you know, he's, he's always bumping around at the same same level, whether it's uh, York, Shanty, uh, no, uh, there were two runs at Longchamp this year and the Kergale last year. So, you know, I don't think the handicap will do a lot to him. But uh, unless he performed, you know, in a Group One, probably. And would that be a target to run in a Group One before Melbourne? I, there really isn't one which we, we've just, you know, we dismissed a Goodwood Cup. Um, the only other race was the Irish St Ledger, and we thought that might, you know, if he ran second to Order of St George, that might expose him to the extent that he'd give him no chance in the Melbourne Cup. So, as we're not going for the Caulfield Cup, we might run twice or we might leave it to September we've got plenty of options he, he's in the Ebor is that a possibility I think it's a possibility yeah I think it's unlikely but it is a, you know I wouldn't you know we put him in because of the huge rewards and you know you'd have 10 stone you know you maybe even think of claiming of him but um, you know if you won that you know you might go up in the handicap again so uh, it may be best to just um, go for a group two in France but you know I'm slightly leaning towards the Grand Prix de Deauville because that's a, a sort of should be right, good chance to be run on soft ground and give us a chance to sort of sharpen him up.